So our first preventative maintenance process after today's cleaning is gonna to be to focus on the vacuum recovery tank. We wanna make sure that we clean it out. It's extremely important to clean out the vacuum recovery tank because everything that we've sucked up off the floor uh, in the restroom or wherever it is that you're cleaning is gonna be stored and sealed inside that vacuum container. If we don't clean it, we're gonna have odor problems, uh, we'll have loss of suction. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that first. So let's get started. So our first step in our vacuum tank recovery process clean out is to remove any fresh water that may be remaining in the fresh water tank. The idea behind that is we're gonna suck out the fresh water. It's gonna force us to clean out the inside of our vacuum recovery hose. And it's also the first step in cleaning out your vacuum recovery tank. So we're gonna first just plug our unit in. We're gonna grab a section of our vacuum recovery hose. We're gonna remove our water tank. We're gonna turn our vacuum on and then we're gonna suck out some of the fresh water that's in our tank. So on the 1700 series, our front tank is our vacuum recovery tank. So everything that gets sucked up off the floor is stored in the container. The way we empty it is through our dump hose that sits on the side over here. We simply unscrew the cap with the dirty solution inside and we're gonna lower that down to the drain. So once we've lowered our dump hose to the floor, we're now going to lift our lid off the top and gain access to the inside of our dirty tank. To clean out the vacuum recovery tank, we're just gonna simply use a garden hose, spray out the dirt and soil, allow it to flow out of the dump hose and down the drain until we're clean. We also at this point wanna clean off our float shut off. So follow me. During the vacuum tank rinse out, it's important to just spray all throughout the inside of the tank, making sure to hit and clean off that float screen and float shut off. If that gets clogged, we have loss of vacuum suction. So as we rinse out the tank, all the dirty solution flows down through the dump hose, out to the drain, also helping us keep our dump hose clean as well. Lastly, after rinsing out the vacuum tank, we're gonna simply reattach our dump hose onto the unit. And then we suggest at nighttime to leave the vacuum lid off of the unit to allow it to continue to air dry out, keeping the unit clean. 